Luckily, you're the most tattooed man in the whole world. Can you confirm that? Yeah, look, I can confirm it. Um, I'm the Guinness World Record holder, and I've been uh, the most tattooed man, uh, the longest in history. And uh, at the end of this year, I, I um, go into the Hall of Fame Guinness World Records. So, yeah, it's a good honour, you know, to, to be this tattooed and to be here for Wild Style, which is one of the biggest festivals in, in the world. Is your whole body 100% tattooed? Yeah, it's 100% plus layers. So, I've, so if you can imagine, I had a full body suit yeah. of designs from all over the world, covered it entirely black, and now over the top with colour. So layer on layer on layer. So multiple layers. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so if you count in a different way, you could say 500%. Well, yeah, if you if you wanted to, yeah, add it all up. But um, yeah, that's a pretty close estimate. 500, wow, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> what was your very first tattoo in your whole life? Uh, it was just a little tattoo on my hip that I got because my, um, I was worried about what my mum would think. I was travelling with a circus in Australia. Yeah, and I just, I was fascinated. I, I went and walked into a tattoo shop and I thought, wow, it's amazing. These guys, you know, you can choose anything from the wall and they can take it and put it on your body and it's there for the rest of your life. To me, that was an incredible thing, you know. I was 16 years old and I thought it was just amazing. So, yeah, and then, you know, lo and behold, I become the most tattooed man in the world and, and I'm also a tattoo artist and I also get to do what I love at Wildstyle. So when did this dream start to become the most tattooed man in the world? With your first tattoo or after a while? No, no, it was, it was when I was running out of space, the first layer. And then because uh, circus, sideshow and tattoo have had a good connection throughout history, um, which you'll see if you come to Wildstyle, that, that uh, Wildstyle really embraces that kind of art form, sideshow, circus, bands, uh, entertainment, as well as tattoo artists. We sort of... You know, I just sort of thought it was a natural progression for me to become the most tattooed man in the world. No one had ever had 100%. So I just thought, well, it's my opportunity to do so, you know. And your family, uh, are they supportive yeah. for your addiction, if you could say addiction? Yeah, it's an addiction. Of course it is, yeah. I mean, um, my, I come from my mum and my father, so, so you know... Um, you know, they love me regardless of what I do, so... They're, they're proud of me, you know, they're proud that I... You know, I've been around the world 25 times in my life. I've met so many interesting people from all over the world. If you come to Wildstyle, you'll see, you know, some really interesting characters. And for me, um, Wildstyle's like, like home, you know? So it feels like you're, you're at home with your, your people, you know? Uh, Regarding to your tattoos, which is your favourite one? Could you say that you have a favourite tattoo? Yeah, the, my favourite tattoo is the one that I'm going to get. So always the next one? I don't even know what it is, but it, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you do it yourself, getting oh, inked, or yeah, are all the others doing that? Sometimes I do, yeah, and sometimes I prefer someone else to do it. Just because there's so many great artists around in the world and like this weekend if you come down you'll meet so many am amazing tattoo artists you know I mean I can pick as you know whatever I want from whoever I want so it's it's um, it's really incredible you know can you estimate how much did you spend in general for your tattoos um, well look um, put it this way I would say it's more than a house but um, if you can say that, I, like I literally wear my house on my skin, you know. So, so I travel with my house all over the world, and um, yeah, I mean, really, it's only expensive if you can't afford it. And I've always performed and been an entertainer most of my life, so I've always been able to afford it. I, I get rewarded for what I do, what I love doing, which is performing, and I get to reward other artists for what they love doing, which is tattooing. So, so it works, you know, it's organic. Works great. Okay, before we get to the performing aspect, how did the contact, uh, how did you make the contact with Jochen, for example, with the whole Wildstyle tattoos? Well, it was a natural progression. Basically, um, Jochen gets the best of the best in the world. And because we'd never worked together and because I was at a certain level in my, in my career, it was just natural that Jochen 
um, knocked on my door and asked, invited me. Um, I can't even really remember how many years ago it was, but it was a fair while ago. And um, and each year he, he keeps um, inviting me. The only the only time that we've ever not been able to do it is when um, COVID-19 restrictions were in place. So for the last two to three years, you know, he's been trying to get me over, but, you know, it's been difficult with the border restrictions and now everything's open. So, you know, it's great. I'm, I'm back home at Wildstyle. <laughs> and do you have your own show this weekend? Do you have any points for yourself there? Yeah, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got two shows a day. Um, so Saturday, Sunday, I'm performing on stage. But, but I'm just a small part. I'm just like a small part of the show program, you know? Like there's other acts that do circus sideshow acts. There's, there's bands, there's showgirls. Um, there's all kinds of entertainment. And um, York and basically and Wildstyle put on a fantastic show. In, in actual fact, it's the biggest uh, festival in the world for me to be at. So. So I'll get back to you for one second because you're a kind of legend here in the tattooing world. Really? This is what I heard before. Oh, really? Yes, yes, I did the research oh, online oh. and I found that you're a legend. Do you feel sometimes as a legend yourself? Oh, look. Do you have a lot of fans and this kind of stuff? Oh, look, you know, it's great when, um, say, for instance, like a little kid comes up and they want my autograph and they say, oh, you're from the Guinness World Records. For me, that reminds me of me when I was a little kid, you know? And I looked at the book and I was like, oh, man, this is amazing, you know. So for me, that's a real privilege and pleasure. And, and fortunately, Wildstyle gives me the opportunity to embrace all of that. And people come and celebrate that part of my life. And uh, I mean, I've got a guy that um, has been wanting to get tattooed by me for probably about um, six, seven years. And each time he comes to Vienna, um, I have no time to, to tattoo him. So this time he came to the to the uh, show last week, and he booked in for this week. So he's booked me up all weekend. So he's like he's getting tattooed, you know. So so things like that make me feel really good, you know, like that people um, really support and love what you're doing. Uh, I think I can assume the answer, but do you regret any of your tattoos? Uh, I don't. I don't have any regrets at all. I mean, some of my biggest. Um, uh, hardest times in my life have been the greatest learning opportunities. So, so yeah. So I wouldn't be the person I am today if if I didn't have the ups and downs of life, and and that's just normal. Everyone, you don't have to be the most tattooed man in the world to experience the ups and downs of life. You know. <laughs>